Well, hello and welcome to Worship Wednesday. Kind of a, a slow uh, week. We're starting a little late today. Um, and I didn't know how many people would be um, even checking in because I know you're busy. You've been with family and um, just kind of a, a, a busy week for all. But I thought I'd just uh, do a short session today just to say hello and uh, wish you all Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Amen. Yeah. Hey, somebody from Toronto, I'll, I'll wish from Toronto, I'll make an announcement. I'll be there uh, New Year's Eve uh, in Toronto. Hey, Regina. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, there's a few of us here. Hello, Norway, Wilsha. <laughs> yeah, amen. Bill Blanchett, hey, that's San Antonio. Uh, Laura and I are flying down there um, this uh, Friday. I'm singing in San Antonio Friday night. Friday night. Um, and then I'll have the band with me in Vancouver. Hello, uh, Vancouver, in Toronto. I saw somebody, Burma, from <laughs> Vancouver, B.C., well, yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah, me, joining us, joining me all by myself here. Hey, Ruth L. Yeah, well, good. I just didn't know if we were going to, uh, we thought about not doing a live stream today just because it's kind of a a busy, uh, I don't know, just kind of a down week. People are busy with families and stuff, but I'm glad you're here for this Worship Wednesday. Hello, Betty from Mississippi. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well. Um, well, thank you. <laughs> well, let's sing a little bit, worship a bit. <clears throat> if I can wake up my voice today. Man, we had um, Christmas Day, I guess about 20 people here. Grandkids everywhere. Oh, boy, was it crazy. I mean, crazy. The noise level was like... Uh, out, out of sight, but um, <laughs> we we made it through. <laughs> it was wild, crazy, and wonderful. With a thankful heart and a song of praise, we've come to you, gathered in this place for the things you've done. And for who you are, we worship you with a thankful heart, with a thankful heart and a song of praise. We come to you gathered in this place for the things you've done and for who you are. We worship you with a thankful heart. So we lift up our praise. We lift up our sacrifice to you. We offer our prayers and we offer our lives in gratitude. For all you do, we worship you with a thankful heart, with a thankful heart, we will give you praise. You've been so good, covered us with grace, you have been our strength. In a time so dark So we worship you With a thankful heart So we lift up our praise We lift up our sacrifice to you We offer our prayers And we offer our lives in gratitude 
our praise and we lift up our sacrifice to you we offer our prayers and we offer our lives in gratitude for all you do we worship you with a thankful heart we worship you with a thankful heart yes we do oh we worship you yes we worship you with a thankful heart we come Lord yeah. thank you Lord we come before you today with thanksgiving you said to enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise and that's what we've come together to do today and here we are lifting our hands to you here we are giving you thanks for all you do and as we praise and worship your hope answered prayer for always being there for love that hears us when we call for arms that lift us when we fall oh, you have always been right beside us leading us all And here we are Lifting our hands to you Here we are Giving you thanks For all you do And as we praise And worship your home Well, welcome to, again, to those just joining us, welcome to Worship Wednesday. Um, it is uh, a bit chilly out this morning. I think it was like 32 degrees, which is uh, Celsius. That's zero for all you Canadians. But um, it's sunny, at least. Uh, I was thinking about this song. Um, we'll try it. When my heart is overwhelmed And it seems that all my hope is gone That 
us when God steps in Things that were impossible Suddenly are possible again And the miracle begins Keep your eyes on Him Till the storm passes over He can calm the wind To a whisper with His word be still hear the words of the Savior all is well keep your eyes on Him seasons come and seasons go well it makes no difference all I need to know God is in control, that's right. Through stormy winds and raging seas, He'll be there protecting you and me. Our God is in control, that's right. Keep your eyes on Him till the storm passes over. He can calm the wind to a whisper with His word. Yes, He can. Peace be still, hear the words of the Savior. All is well, keep your eyes on Him. Well, God will make a way miracles can happen you'll see nothing is impossible if you just believe keep your eyes on him till the storm passes over he can calm the wind to a whisper with his word peace be still hear the words of the savior all is well keep your eyes on forgot how to end the song. It's been a while since I've sung it. <laughs> yeah, keep your eyes on Him. I, I love that. Um, um. God will always make a way. Miracles can happen. You'll see nothing is impossible if you just believe. And here's the key. Keep your eyes on Him till the storm passes over. He can calm the wind to a whisper with His Word. Peace be still, hear the words of the Savior. All is well, keep your eyes. Keep your eyes on him till the storm passes over, my friend. I know uh, we will go through storms. And it's just a good reminder at the end of, of a year uh, with all the <clears throat> kind of the craziness of, of of the holidays to keep our eyes focused on the one person that matters, uh, Jesus, the Son of God. Keep your eyes focused on him. Just like the disciples going through uh, in the Sea of Galilee in the middle of a storm, you know, 
Jesus calmed the storm. Peace be still. And he said to the disciples, why are you so afraid? And um, so with all the things going on in the world today, there's reason to fear and be distracted. But I want to encourage all of us in, in these days, keep our eyes on him. Uh, till the storm passes over. And like I said, there will be storms. You've heard me talk about Psalm 107, 23 through 31 many, many times. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they will see the hand of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. And <laughs> verse 25 says, And God caused the waves to mount up to the heavens, down to the depths. They staggered around like drunken men at their wits end, crying out to the Lord. In their distress, the Lord heard their prayer. He calmed the storm. Then they were glad. He brought them to their desired haven. There you go. So uh, there will be storms. Some of you are maybe about to go into a storm. Some of you may be in the middle of a storm. Some of you may have just come out of a storm. But st storms and tough times do not diminish the reality of God's presence. The darkness will fall. Clouds will gather and shadows may come. But our faith and our confidence in him need never be shaken. And when we face those difficult times, those storms, he will always be with us to make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. Well, let's say hi to a few, few more folks here. Um, <clears throat> I'm drinking... Um, Instant coffee today. I didn't even have time to brew coffee. Okay. <clears throat> I won't make that mistake again. Magdi, hello there in Hungary. Good to have you with us again today. John and Debbie. Hey, John and Debbie from Elma, New York. Glad you're here with me today. Um, Doreen in Mobile joining us again. Hi, Doreen. Debbie in Duluth. Well, we got some regulars here. It's good to see people. I'll be up in Duluth. Well, we're flying into Duluth uh, Valentine's Day, I believe, February 14th. Laura and I are flying up, and my sisters are coming up as well. My dad turns 98 on February 17th, so we're coming up there. And I know up in Duluth, uh, strangely, you have no snow for Christmas. It is not a white Christmas in Duluth, Minnesota. And I was looking at the temperature this morning in Two Harbors, where my father is, <clears throat> and where I was born, where I lived, raised there in Two Harbors. But um, I think the temperature was 40 degrees, and it was 32 here in Nashville. I thought, what's wrong with this picture? Uh, Nashville is eight degrees colder than uh, Two Harbors, <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, Debbie, um, be, I'll be passing through Duluth, February 14th. Uh, Ricardo in Laredo, Texas. Hey, Ricardo, thanks for joining. Jane in Jakarta, thanks for joining. Reguel is watching from India. Hello, Reguel. Um, am I saying your name right? Reguel. I think it's R-E-G-U-E-L. Reg is, or is it Reguel? Uh, let me know if I'm doing it right. Reguel. Uh, Cecilia. Uh, that'd be like people call me Doen Moen sometimes. That's not my name, Don Moen. In fact, one time I even saw my name in, in a marquee outside of a theater, and it said, in concert, D-O-E-N-M-O-E-N, -E -E Doen Moen. And um, <laughs> anyway, Reguel, I want to say your name correctly, so let me know. Cecilia in Calgary, hello there. Thanks for joining. Uh, Janet in Milan, Italy. Wow, thanks for joining today. Odessa in Malawi, Virginia in the Philippines, Anita in Kuwait, Brit Patricia in California, uh, Kay in Singapore, uh, thanks for joining again. Cynthia in Athens, Greece, hello Cynthia. Stephen in Chicago, Illinois, Edna in Toronto, hope to see you New Year's Eve. Um, Ina in Indonesia, joining again. Praveen John from Abu Dhabi, joining again. Thanks. Uh, Joyce in Nairobi. Chi Chi from Columbus, Ohio. Francine from France. <laughs> really, Francine from France. Uh, Chioma in Aberdeen, Scotland. I've been there. That's cold up there. Um, okay, yeah, so here we are. We're going to be in, I don't know if we can, you can see these, uh, December 29th, that's Friday night, I will be singing at Bethel Covenant Assembly in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Laura and I are going to fly down a little bit early and uh, 
visit with our daughter, Rachel, and her husband, Keith. Why? Because they have Mercy and Grace, the twins. Do we have a picture of them, by the way? Uh, Mercy and Grace. There they <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that's Mercy there uh, with her head up and uh, Grace hanging on to her. And we got one more. There we look at that picture. It looks like, it looks like they're look. One baby is looking in the mirror. Amazing. Anyway, that's Grace on the left. I know that because she's got a little tuft of hair that still sticks up. That's Grace and Mercy on the right. So we'll see the twins this weekend. Short a short visit, but uh, it'll be great to see them. So that's Bethel Covenant Assembly in San Antonio. Um, starts at seven o'clock. I don't have an address for you, but I know it's out uh, near La Cantera, that area west of of uh, San Antonio, Bethel Covenant Assembly. Okay, and December 31st, uh, for my, I think about my 12th year, I will be at Open Heavens in uh, Toronto. Boy, I started this. Well, the reason I know it's been, see, at 12 years, uh, my daughter, Melissa, and her husband, Jesse, were married December uh, 31st, 2010. And the next year, we were started, 2011, started in Toronto uh, singing, and I've, uh, I've been doing it for 12 years now. So that is at the International um, Center Hall Number 5. Uh, doors open at 6, starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, Chandler Moore is going to be there. Uh, Ty Trippett, my buddy Ty Trippett, is going to be there. Joe Metal. Uh, Anne Ugabor uh, and the choir and band, a wonderful uh, uh, group there. And, uh, of course, uh, me, I'll be there as well. So i got the whole band coming up, and Laura will be there too. So that's New Year's Eve, uh, Toronto. So hope we can see you there. Um, uh, Reguel says, I pronounced his name correctly. correctly. Oh, good, Reguel. Okay, thank you for that uh, clarification. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's kind of it. I hope you all had a good uh, time uh, with your families. Uh, it can be, I know, a little crazy. Hopefully you didn't have any um, any stressful times. It can be stressful because you have family coming in from all over the place and people that you don't always know real well. But um, I'm glad that uh, I, I just trust it was a blessed time. Uh, hey, Estella, praying for you and your team, December. Yeah, uh, you're in Calgary now. Estella Ng uh, has always been at, uh, you've been, I think, I think at every, at every uh, New Year's Eve celebration. Uh, real good friends of ours, but now in Calgary. But um, we'll see you out there. I know I'm, uh, Paul Balash and I and, um, uh, Brooke Nichols, we're going to do another tour. Are we going out to Calgary on this trip? I don't know. I know we're in Saskatoon, and we're in Vancouver, and we're around Toronto area, quite about around, you know, in Ontario for about three or four concerts. So I'll have to check and see if we're in Calgary again. I don't know. But anyway, Estella, thank you for saying hello. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, Romans 5, uh, 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Wow. While we were still unlovable uh, people, uh, God sent his son Jesus, not only to be born, but also to die and sacrifice his life for our sins. Wow. Think about his love, think about his goodness, think about his grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. So great is the measure of our Father's love. 
Think about his love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. So great, so great is the measure of our Father's love. And how could I forget His love? How could I forget His mercy? He satisfies, He satisfies, He satisfies my desire. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that's brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. So great is the measure of our Father's love. So great, so great is the measure of our Father's love. Thank you, Lord, for loving us when we were quite unlovable people for giving your life as a sacrifice for our sins. We thank you and we praise you today in Jesus' name. Hear our prayer. We are your children and we've gathered here today from all around the world. We've gathered here to pray, hear our cry, oh Lord, we need your mercy, and we need your grace today, yes we do, hear us as we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Forgive our sins, we pray. Hear our song as it rises to heaven. May your glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. See our hearts and remove that is standing in the way of coming to you today. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. our sins we pray and though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is 
the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Worship you. come today, we've gathered to worship, to pray, to seek your face today, Lord. Amen. Yeah. I pray for each one of you, uh, maybe going through a difficult time, you might have uh, had a difficult uh, Christmas, maybe a loved one gone, the first Christmas without that person it's difficult and um, but I pray that God would comfort you that his uh, peace would surround you that his grace uh, yeah, would cover you his, uh, his strength sustain you Amen. and uh, fill that void that is there thank you Lord for making a way where there seems to be no way God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side with love and strength for each new day. Will make a way, he will make a way. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. By a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. Rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but his word will still remain. That's right. And he will do something new today. Oh, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. closely to his son with love and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way with love and strength with 
love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. Yes, he will. He will make a way. Thank you, Lord, for making a way where there seems to be no way, a roadway in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Thank you, Lord, that you are doing something new in each of our lives, in each of our hearts. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for making a way for the one that is listening today, uh, going through a difficult time. Lord, comfort them. Encourage them. Let them know that even at this moment, you are working in ways that they cannot see. Amen. Thank you for providing for jobs financially, Lord. Bringing families together that have been divided. Bring children back home, Lord. Make a way, we pray in Jesus' name. Touch broken hearts, mend broken bodies. Thank you, Lord. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If there's sickness going around your household, I just uh, come against it in Jesus' name, and I thank you, Lord, that your life flows in each home through every body, that your breath through every uh, set of lungs in Jesus' name. If the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, uh, he will also quicken your mortal bodies. I mean, that's if the life of God is in you, um, his healing is there for you. It's there for me. So we receive it now in Jesus' name. Be healed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way He will make a way Yes, He will He will make a way for you Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us. Um, um, I'm told I am not going to be in Calgary in March. Or No, our tour is the end of April. I take that back. I thought it was March, end of April. We're going to do another Canadian tour. Uh, I am going to Holland in uh, March. It is, I think, the, oh gosh, I can't remember it now, but it's like the 5th through the 12th or something like that. I think three concerts in Holland in the Netherlands. So that'll be, uh, that'll be fun to be back. Um, yeah, Saskatoon, Burnaby, B.C., or and Victoria, I think. Victoria as well will be there. Wow. Victoria, B.C., Victoria Island. I had my 30th birthday um, in, in Victoria. I was singing there uh, with uh, my friend and evangelist Terry Law, and my wife Laura was with me. Had our had my 30th birthday in, Van, in Victoria Island, and I remember... The guy that owned Victoria Island Helicopter Service uh, flew me around the island. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, so in Toronto, uh, in Ontario area, the end of April, we'll be in uh, four dates. Brampton, Anca is it Ancaster? Um, Hamilton, basically, Hamilton. Um, London and uh, Cambridge, Ontario. Boy, a lot of concerts in uh, Ontario. Becca and Nita from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Hello there. Jay Angelo from Calgary. All right. Lily in the Netherlands. Hello, Lily. Yeah, we'll hope to see you in March. Um, I will have information. It should be eventually on our website as well. Um, um, Doreen asks if God will make a way is an older song. Yeah, it is. I wrote it in 1987. Um, when my little nephew was killed in a car accident and I did not know what to say to the parents, uh, to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and 
Um, and God gave me the song to sing for them. So uh, it's been a, a long time, 87. So yet that song has uh, brought hope to people all over the world. I was in a grocery store the other day in Nashville, and a, <laughs> a gal walked up to me, a lady walked up to me and said, uh, are you Don Moen? And I said, yeah. And she goes, did you write the song, God Will Make a Way? I said, I did. She goes, thank you for that song. That, that's all I wanted to say. So I said, wow. So it brings hope in a hopeless situation. Uh, that's what it was written for, and it's still carrying a message of hope. And here it is: He, He works in ways He works in ways we cannot see. There it is, right there. He works in ways we cannot see. There you are. Uh, even when all around you you can uh, you see hopelessness, God is working in ways you can't see to bring hope. And when you're at the end of your rope, at the end of your wits, that's when God steps in, like the song says. Um, um, when my heart is overwhelmed and it seems that all my hope is gone, that's when God steps in. Things that were impossible suddenly are possible again. And the miracle begins. There you go. That's what God loves to do. When we're at the end of our resources, he steps in, and he still is a God of miracles. Hello, Kenneth in Castle Creek, New York. Uh, Mary in the Philippines, Shirley watching from Borneo. Dennis in Vancouver, B.C. Uh, Patricia and Jesse in Connecticut. Happy birthday to Elijah on the 25th of December. Well, happy birthday to you. I have a grandson, uh, uh, Archer turned uh, his, uh, he's turning five today <laughs> on the 27th. So um, we have a birthday party to go to. Uh, Julie and L is it Leicester, right? Yeah, Leicester. Did I say that right? Uh, it's not Lester. It's, or is it? <laughs> Americans, they don't know how to pronounce these names. Uh, maybe it, Lest <laughs> it might be Lester, Lester, England. But anyway, it looks like Leicester. Sorry, Julie. Uh, Sharon in Mississippi. Yeah, I, yeah. I went to school in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Can you believe it? Yeah. S University of Southern Mississippi on a violin scholarship. Yeah. Went from northern Minnesota to southern Mississippi. Boy, was that a culture shock. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this uh, middle of the holidays worship Wednesday. I'm glad we did it because uh, I got to see a lot of friends. I'm um, uh, glad to see you joining us here today. Hey, Memphis, Tennessee, Rita, thanks for joining. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants I Will Sing. You know, maybe we'll do that next week. Um, the Anderson family and Adams. Yeah, Wisconsin. Is it Adams, Wisconsin? Is that what that is? Yeah, Rwanda, God bless you. Um, yeah, amen. Thank you for all your prayers. Hey, Trondheim, Norway. I would love to have a concert in Trondheim. Is it Wilsha? Uh, that's where all my uh, grandmother and grandfather came from. Actually, uh, my grand grandpa, Moen, was north of Trondheim, and my grandmother, uh, Gertrude Nihus, uh, was from Melhus, which is south of Trondheim. So, um, yeah, I'd love to do a concert in, in uh, Trondheim. I'd love to do a concert in Norway. I've never, never have. Um, hey, Rico uh, says, oh, hey, Rico. You were at the First Baptist Church, Hendersonville, Saturday, the 9th um, of December at 4.30, getting off, getting ready for Christmas, and God protected. Yeah, we had a tornado go through here a few weeks back, a couple weeks ago, and uh, Rico, I heard about that, and uh, God was gracious and spared all of you. What a wonderful God we serve. Amen. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and now let the weak say, oh, Julie uh, uh, corrected me, it is pronounced Lesta. Lester, and not not Leicester. Yeah, I thought something like that. Okay, sorry, Lester. 
I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. We give thanks. We give thanks. Yeah, yeah. I saw something fly by there. Somebody, you're burying your brother uh, tomorrow. Back up a little farther. I just, yeah, bury my brother-in-law tomorrow. Pray for my family, Jolene in Denver. We pray for you, Jolene. Yeah, may his peace surround you and all the family and uh, yeah, comfort you during this time in Jesus' name. Uh, I saw somebody posting something about our worship in action. By the way, um, for those of you who are on worship in action, uh, that's worshipinaction.org. Um, it is our charity, and we, uh, you know, we were able to build a school for the kids in Ghana. And um, anyway, as a way of saying thanks to all that have um, supported us uh, in that, we started offering, uh, we sent some coffee out and we had some mugs that we just had, we couldn't send to everybody, but uh, we're going to maybe put those on our website again. Um, we don't have a picture of those, do we? No. But it's, uh, it's a mug uh, that says God will make a way. And, um, and we, well, years ago, uh, several years ago, we used to offer coffee on our website. Um, and it was, uh, it was really popular and, and a mug that said God will make a way. So uh, if you think that's a good idea, let me know. And also, I wanted to keep following up. Uh, we're considering doing an event in Nashville here um, where we invite all of our uh, live streaming friends. I mean, if we have enough time, six months notice, to fly to Nashville and to be limited probably to about uh, 200 people probably. Uh, we'll get, uh, we'll have uh, a night of worship, a couple nights of worship. We'll do some fun things in Nashville, and um, just have a weekend, a weekend together. So if that's interesting to you, uh, let me know. Uh, give us a thumbs up, and we'll start planning that. And, and uh, it'd be, a, it'd be a wonderful time to meet. <laughs> I know it's, it's complicated to fly from Indonesia or Norway, but I see the same uh, names coming up here all the time, and it would be. It'd be wonderful to meet Jane from Jakarta and uh, who are the other one? Jane, Ina from Indonesia, uh, Jane in Jakarta, and it's just all these names. Uh, Regina, I know you would come from Paris, but we can have a wonderful weekend here in Nashville. So if that's, uh, we'll start maybe uh, putting some, um, just some feelers out and see if we can make that happen and probably do a live recording while we're here so wouldn't that be fun okay thanks again for joining me uh, for this worship wednesday like i say i'm glad hello felix i'm glad we did that um because i had considered uh, just laying off today but uh glad we did it and i'll see you but lord willing uh for our first concert of the new year uh, next week Hope to see some of you in San Antonio this weekend, Friday night, and also in Toronto, New Year's Eve. I just looked at the weather. It's going to be snowy up there, but hey, it's uh, Toronto in uh, January or last day of December. So, uh, you know, why not? So we'll have a great time there worshiping. Why not worship as we bring in the 2024 there's no better way to do that than to be worshiping in the presence of the Lord, asking the Lord to guide and lead as we enter the new year. Amen. Yeah. John, <laughs> everybody's asking for these songs. How long do you want this live stream to be? Yeah. Uh, we'll be at your concert in South Africa. Am I coming there? I guess I am. Okay. Uh, Sarah, 
Um, they haven't told me about it yet, but I know we're talking about it. Okay. Uh, oh, San, <laughs> San Antonio, not South Africa. Funny, I saw that S-A and I go, okay, so you're going to be there. Good. Um, <laughs> and it's just me. It's not the band. It's just me. But uh, it'll be fun. Look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Uh, I saw the letters S-A, and I thought, well, that's South Africa. Uh, no, it's also San Antonio. Good. Well, God bless you all. Again, uh, Lord willing, I'll be here uh, for Worship Wednesday next week. Until then, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you and watch over all of you. Have a blessed uh, new year and uh, and you know, just just believing that God's going to do something new and fresh in each of your lives in this coming year in the name of Jesus. God bless you. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.